Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, templates that you can uh, create in your uh, Emacs configuration. And these templates are really useful because uh, this, uh, this concept of templates will make you massively efficient when it comes to maybe writing some kind of documentation or maybe you are uh, just doing your normal work, your day-to-day -day work. Now let me show you uh, what I mean. And I think I have covered this in the past, but uh, I, I I don't really think I covered each and every aspect, like all the templates that I use. So I don't really use a lot of templates, but uh, because, uh, because I deal quite a lot in writing code, I do have few templates that I use almost every day. So let us say if I am writing a document and I, and I need to insert something like uh, like a shell script or maybe a command that, I, that, I, that can be executed on, let us say, your uh, terminal, you're using your bash. So I can do something like this. If I press this, uh, this uh, less than S and then tab, it will basically bring up this begin source and end source. And this is also related to the literate programming concept that we have in Emacs. So, so the idea behind the literate programming is that you're doc you're writing a document. Let us say this is uh, I mean this is this is a document. And by the way, if I'm writing a post for my blog that I publish using Emacs, I I normally have like a title which I can insert very quickly by doing something like this. Like uh, we today we are learning about templates templates and uh, this is of course very simple and and of course you can insert a date let me do one thing instead of just doing this on a temp directory let me just go to my actual blog folder where i will uh, write this template so this is the file and uh, i'm going to name it as let us learn about templates and this will become this will eventually become a blog now today we of course i did like less than t in tab today we are learning about templates and uh, i can insert a date very quickly like control c dot and then of course by default it is current date author is of course me so if you are trying to insert uh, let us say bash command you can do F and uh, you can, oh, I mean, not really here, but uh, let us say, who am I? This is a command. Now, by default, this, I mean, right now, Emacs won't know what to do with this command because uh, we have not really specified, but we can do something like this, shell. And uh, now if you do something like Control-C, Control-C, it will ask you, do you want to evaluate this? And you can say yes and it will give you a result like this is of course uh, very simple but today in this video i don't really want to spend too much time on the literate programming because i have covered it already uh, by the way if you're writing something like this you can also do something like well no so that it won't execute so <laughs> you, maybe you don't really want to execute this command but you still want to include it uh, as a proper code now this is all good but what if you want to just uh, I mean, right now we are able to insert the tags for, not really a tag, yeah, I mean, kind of a tag, I think these keywords for begin source and end source, but maybe you want a bit more thing to add, to be added, and you don't really want to type it manually. So you can actually create your own template. So if I do something like this, less than G and then tab, it will now in, like do a lot of things. And uh, right now the language is groovy, uh, but it can be, it can be uh, any other language. Maybe let us just type in here, uh, hello, and uh, and you can of course add few additional things. Like if you're exporting it, do you want to export it to? Like if you export the whole page, do you want to export the code or or also the result, for example? And you can also make sure that this particular code is um, 
also export it to a separate file maybe its own groovy script file it could be any script by the way so that is called as org tangle uh, which i don't really want to do because it can because i don't really want to you know uh, export this one so this is actually uh, very useful because uh, uh, this is uh, something that i use every day and i can insert code uh, with these templates not only for the not only for the code part you can also create your own template for doing something like uh, maybe you are at your you're at you write journals you want to write journals like every day you can do something like uh, j and now you have i mean right now this is uh, using like few levels in the header because i make sure i mean i don't really add, add my journal entries in random files i have a specific file where i add this journal and i can do it very quickly and uh, I also use, of course, the org capture. For example, I have uh, this the same journal for uh, writing my daily journal entries if I want to. I can press Control CC and I can open up this um, small region where I can uh, select the template. And if you want to add your own template, you can do that. I'll probably get rid of this and uh, i'll show you the configuration of my of my init file so let me just go to dot emacs and uh, so you can actually define your uh, templates here like this you just need to add the template to the org structure template a list so right now you can see that i have one temp one, one template for groovy and this is tied to G. I also have one more for title that I use for my blog entries. And I also have one for my journal entries. It is very simple. And when you do these things, when you have these things configured, it will massively make you more productive and you can uh, finish your work quickly and you can enjoy time that you save you can enjoy all the time that you will save in creating these wonderful videos and uh, uh, and maybe you can go for a walk or watch movies online but the idea here is to save time be more efficient and uh, have fun so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye